shift bearing is, their speed, our speed, wind, also depending on where we are, northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. What happens if you guys flush your toilet? Which direction does the water go? Regularly. Right <laughs> <laughs> Not the Australian place. If we're in the southern hemisphere? Counterclockwise. The Coriolis effect. This also takes that into account. This machine was designed in 1938, used all the way up to 1991, allowing us to take a 2,700 pound projectile and hit a moving object 23 miles away. Now, okay, I'm gonna take come over sure. here. All right, if you can take this knob, you're gonna turn that clockwise, you're gonna change your bit clockwise, a little faster. <laughs> We're being shot at, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> stop. All right, let's see here. Let's tell it we're going a little slow. Ma'am, if you could take that knob, bring that down to 10 knots. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get it down to 10. Being shot at. <laughs> Stop. So now it's going to take the information. It's going to know where to aim those rifles so we can hit that target. Awesome. Now, here's the really neat thing. I love having fun with the active duty Navy guys when they come up with their fancy schmancy ships and their computer systems. I'm like, what happens if you guys have a catastrophic electrical failure? Well, here's what happens if we do. Excuse me? We have a sailor become a gerbil and a whale. Yes. <laughs> I am now powering the computer, and the computer can continue to work and operate. That is tremendous. Behind me is the stable vertical. This tells us the pitch and roll. Okay, where's my, now I am a little partial, where's my Annapolis grad? Do a bear. Come here. Okay, so these are the triggers. You're all going to get to do this at least four. So these are the pistol grips. So what I want you to do is put your fingers in here like this, but don't pull anything yet. All right, so go ahead. I'm going to go right where you are. This feels like Boom. a trap. <laughs> there could actually bark. be about it's a trap. 13 guys in here, but they're all at specific spots. Now. The whole movie's three, two, one, four. BS. It's not what happened. So here's what would happen. The computer's on. <laughs> There'd be an officer here. There's a foot depressor in the deck. When I know this is set, I'm going to push that. Now, when this light, when that goes a little brighter, I'm going to pull and hold out. Before you do that, we have to let everyone on the ship know we're about to fire the guns. So we have to fire the salvo alarm. Around the ship, they're going to hear the eh, eh, eh. Down here, you're going to hear the bell, and that's going to light up. So, when I tell you, you're going to pull this one three times, and only this one. Okay, okay? not this one. Not this one, this one three times. <laughs> go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, put that hand down. Now, when this lights up brighter, you're going to pull and hold this trigger. And you all may want to go over here, so the straight this direction. Oh, that's good. sometimes the projectiles to go maximum range. So the projectiles he fired are still going through the air. <laughs> They're still going through the air. They're still going through the air. In two seconds they will hit. That's the time of flight alarm. Just like you see the movies of guys timing the tor torpedo. You can take that long. But we can load and fire using everything you saw two times a minute. These are the triggers. This is the manual trigger, this is the automatic. If the actuators can't keep up. These are the triggers that were used to fire these guns in Okinawa, uh, throughout World War II, Incheon in Korea, off the DMZ, actually during Vietnam, off the DMZ was an island called Tiger Island. So give you an idea of the power of these guns. There was any artillery on that island. There was a newspaper reporter on the ship. He took a before and after picture of the enemy island before we shot uh, the projectiles at it and afterwards. The makeup of the island and the depth of the water, when the projectiles hit, half the island sheared off. What happened then was the, uh, the photographer had the before and after pictures and the headline on the New of the newspaper was USS New Jersey sinks island. 
<laughs> now, as we go, you do not have to do the salvo alarm. If anyone would like to get a picture, or anyone would like to pull this trigger that fire the guns, feel free. And when you're done, we're going to gather up here, up the ladder. So if anyone.